when an unsymmetrical reagent is added to an unsymmetrical alkene, the negative part of the reagent is added on to the carbon atom of the alkene with the least number of hydrogen atoms. Before proceeding, we will first define what an unsymmetrical reagent is and what an unsymmetrical alkene is. Propene is an unsymmetrical alkene. If you draw a line across the double bond, on either side of the double bond you have two carbon atoms and if you count the hydrogen atoms on the second carbon atom and hydrogen atoms on the first carbon atom, you find that they are not the same, which means the alkene is an unsymmetrical alkene. So any time the number of hydrogens across the double bond are the same, they are considered to be symmetrical. And Markovnikov's addition is only valid for unsymmetrical alkenes. 2-butene is an example of a symmetrical alkene. If you draw a line across the double bond, on either side, the carbon atoms both have one hydrogen atom each. Therefore, it's a symmetrical alkene. Unsymmetrical reagent. It is a molecule that is polar, like HX, where X is a more electronegative atom. It could be bromine, chlorine, or hydroxide. In the example that we are going to choose, we will be using HBr. HBr is a polar molecule because Br is more electronegative than hydrogen. Therefore, it gains a delta negative or small negative charge, and hydrogen gains a delta positive charge. So the molecule with respect to the polarity is considered an unsymmetrical reagent. It could be HCl. In this example, we will be using propene. It is treated with HBr. We are using two moles of HBr. The rule says that the negative part of the reagent is added to the carbon atom of the alkene, which has least number of hydrogen atoms. And in this case, it will be the second carbon atom. So the Br will be attached to the second carbon atom, and hydrogen will be attached to the first carbon atom. So the product will be 2-bromopropane. This is a major product. About 90% of the product will be 2-bromopropane. There is a small possibility, a 10% chance of the second product that is possible, and that is 1-bromopropane. So every time an unsymmetrical alkene reacts with an unsymmetrical reagent, the major product is going to be 2-bromopropane in this case, and the minor product will be 1-bromopropane. We can explain the reasoning behind it by looking at the mechanism of the reaction. Mechanism of Markovnikov addition. Propene again, we'll number them as 1, 2, and 3, the carbon atoms. We're going to add HBr. HBr, as you already know, is an acid. When dissolved in water, it changes into H positive ions and bromide ions. CH3 group is an alkyl group, is capable of what we call an inductive effect. An inductive effect is the ability of the group to repel or polarize a sigma bond. But this ability, when acted on a double bond because it contains pi electrons, can easily disturb the pi electron cloud. Therefore, it will repel the electrons from the second carbon atom to the first carbon atom, give it a slightly higher negative charge because of inductive effect. So the electron from the second carbon atom is pushed onto the first carbon atom making it slightly negative. Consequently, the second carbon atom becomes slightly positive. Now, if you look at the double bond, we have a delta negative and a delta positive on the two carbon atoms, which makes it easy to explain where hydrogen and bromide ion goes when it att attaches itself in the addition reaction. Now, the hydrogen atom seeks the first carbon atom, which is slightly negative, changes that group into a CH3 group. So in the process, propene now has a carbon atom or carbon atom number two with a slightly positive charge. This is called a secondary carbocation. Secondary carbocations are more stable because they have two alkyl groups on either side which are capable of positive inductive effect, which means they pump electron into the second carbon atom from both sides, therefore stabilizing the carbocation. The two-degree carbocation is also called a secondary carbocation.
Now, the bromide ion seeks positive charges. Therefore, it attaches itself to the secondary carbocation, forming 2-bromopropane. And this is the major product. Now, if you look at the second possibility, where if inductive effect is not operating, the next possibility would be that the first carbon atom would gain a positive charge and the second carbon atom would have a negative charge. If that is the case, hydrogen will attach itself to the second carbon atom. This would lead to the formation of a carbonium ion with a delta positive charge on the first carbon atom and that carbon atom is also called a primary carbon atom. Therefore, it forms a primary carbocation. A primary carbocation is only stabilized by a single alkyl group which is capable of inductive effect. Therefore, stability of this primary carbocation is less than that of a secondary carbocation. That's the reason we have a smaller quantity for the formation of 1-bromopropane. This explains the formation of the two products.